Did you know that the vagina is a muscle and just like any other muscle can lose muscle tone? In honor of Menopause Awareness Month, I'm looking at how we can treat loss of vaginal tone to help prevent UTIs and improve overall bladder health as part of your new prime of life. Vaginal atrophy or muscle wasting can be linked to things like smoking as well as hormonal changes that come with prolonged breastfeeding as well as menopause. It can also be linked to chemo and radiotherapy, surgical removal of the ovaries, and extended periods without sex. In all cases, tone can be restored to the delicate tissue of the vagina through gentle and regular exercise or physical stimulation. Stimulation, whether with a partner or using a vaginal wand, helps keep the vaginal muscles active. In both cases, remember to use plenty of lube to avoid any kind of discomfort or friction. In addition to exercise, there are also several effective clinical treatments for vaginal atrophy or muscle wasting. The first is topical estrogen therapy. This is the most common and is one of the most effective treatments for restoring tissue health. So what you would do is speak to your doctor about getting a vaginal suppository of estrogen to insert directly into the vagina. The second clinical treatment is systemic or bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. In addition to treating other menopausal symptoms like hot flashes and sleepless nights, HRT can also improve vaginal tone. And lastly, there are non-invasive laser treatments that can help stimulate growth of new collagen, improving vaginal elasticity and thickness of the wall in the vagina. If you prefer natural options instead, you can think about things like phytoestrogens and spermidine. Phytoestrogens are plant-based compounds found in soy and flax seeds, and they may help balance hormones and improve tissue health. Famously, they're one of the reasons why Japanese women do not seem to experience hot flashes. Spermidine is found in foods like wheat germ, mushrooms, seeds, and greens, and it supports tissue regeneration, autophagy, and cellular health. But one of my top tips for vaginal tone is regular use of a red light vaginal wand. And I personally like the Isviva red light wand, which helps increase collagen and elastin production through exposure to red light. Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with red light devices. Red light was studied at NASA and shown to stimulate growth. And now we see it used in things like caps to stimulate hair growth, as well as in face masks to improve collagen and elastin in the face. The Asviva actually has a red light that gives a warming effect, and it also has a gentle stimulus, but it's actually a medical device, ladies. It is not a vibrator. So what it's trying to do is improve circulation to the vagina. Vaginal atrophy or muscle wasting is unfortunately incredibly common among menopausal women, especially if you are not on HRT. But it doesn't have to be a permanent part of your life. Whether you prefer clinical treatments or natural remedies, it's important to find a solution that works for you. If you found this video eye-opening, hit that like button, share this video with someone who needs to hear it, and let's spark a conversation about safer pathways to healthier and happier aging. Have you experienced some of these menopausal symptoms? Share your experience. And as ever, if you have suggestions for future videos, please drop them in the comments below and we'll take a look. In the meantime, stay curious, stay healthy, and stay empowered on your path to your new prime of life.